Hi, my name is Damien. I work here at Liquid Kitty in West LA, California. I just wanted to go over some of the many bar tools that we use behind the bar, let you know what their, what their purpose is and how to use them properly. Um, we're going to just go over a few here right now. Um, to start with a simple, uh, uh, they call it a church key. It's a bottle opener that we use here behind the bar. They're really flat, they're easy to use, got a handle on it. This side's used to open the, the bottles and it goes in your pocket. It's nice and flat. Some people wear an armband, they put them in their arm. Kind of pretentious, but it looks good. And it's very simple. This just goes on the bottle. Just grab your bottle, goes on the lip, and all you do is pull up. You can go from the other side and pull, push down. And it takes the, the cap off really quickly and easily, and then it slides right back in your pocket. Church key bottle opener works great. Next thing we got, uh, depending on where you work, you might have some drinks with egg in it. Some people use this to make a sa uh, any sours, they'll put an egg white in it. So you want to separate the yolk from the egg. You'll just take your glass, put this on it, and then you'll uh, crack the egg in here, and it'll separate the, the whites will go through and the yolk will stay there. You give it a little squeeze and it pushes it through. Um, if your glass is a little bigger, you can actually put it right on there like that. You, you use both hands. So that's an egg separator. Depending on where you're working, not a lot of places have it. Uh, next up is a fruit muddler. Um, a lot of drinks these days, there's a lot of throwback to Prohibition era drinks and uh, pre-World War I. So what you'll do is <clears throat> you'll take your glass. Let's say you're using an orange and a cherry just for conversation's sake. Um, you have your fruit muddler, you have two sides. Uh, some people will only use one side, some people will use both sides. It's really designed so that if you have a round bottom glass, you use this side. If you have a flat bottom glass, you use this side. Eh, whatever you want to do, it doesn't matter. But you just take this and you just crush the fruit with it. It's called muddling. You muddle them together. The juice gets all mixed up, gets mixed together, and that's how you muddle. And that's what the fruit muddler is for. Uh, next up is a uh, uh, juicer. Uh, there's still a little bit of orange in there, you can tell. You just put your, your uh, I'm sorry, it's a lemon. You peel, you take your rind off your fruit, whether it's a lemon or an orange, whatever it is, put it in here and you squeeze, and the juice comes out the bottom or the side, depending on which way you're making it. Uh, and that's a really simple household item. Everyone uses it at home, make orange juice, apple juice, whatever. So that's what your juicer is for. Uh, this is called the bar spoon. Um, we use it mainly here at the Kitty to stir our Manhattans. We don't shake Manhattans. It's one of those old school things where you want to shake a martini, but you don't want to shake a Manhattan. If somebody orders a martini stirred, not shaken, then you use this. You'll have your martini in this glass. Oops. It'll be full of ice and booze. Let's say this is your booze. And instead of shaking it, the spoon will go in and you just stir it till it's cold. It's a way of not bruising the alcohol with ice, not making it icy, just making it cold. Uh, the bar spoon can also be used to um, separate your liquors when you're making a layered drink. You use this on top and you pour your liquor onto it and it'll stay floating on the liquor below. Depending on which liquor is heavier, you have to know which one's heavier. So that goes to the bottom, that one you pour first, next one on top, next one on top. So a lot of uses for the bar spoon. We use it for a lot of different things. Um, you can use it to separate your rind from your um, meat of your lemon when you're making lemon uh, twists. Uh, so there's a lot of various uh, uses for this. Um, these are shaker tins. We have two different sizes. I use these for drinks on the rocks. I want to shake it because it fits the rocks glass. If I'm making a martini of, or a martini style drink, I'll use this to shake. So these are our uh, tumbler glasses or, or pint glasses. Um, we don't serve drop beer, so we only have a couple to make drinks with. So we make our, all of our martini style drinks in this. You build it in here, take your shaker glass, shake it. You can either take it out in the shaker glass or in the, in the pint glass, whichever you prefer. And then, so those are your, your shaker tins, your pint glasses. And then the last tool we have that I'm going to go over today is a strainer. Let's see. Let's say we're making a martini. This is a strainer. It's a, it's a, a round metal piece. 
with like a slinky on it. So the slinky part holds your shaker, or, your, or holds on your shaker glass so that your uh, strainer stays on. You just hold it with your finger and you hold it in place. These will hold it down and it strains all the ice out of your cocktail. So now you have a, a nice cold martini with no ice in it. So those are our, the bar tools we have here at Liquid Kitty. There's a million more out there you can explore and find a whole bunch of different ones and uh, start playing with different tools and uh, I'm sure you have a good time with it. And today we're going to show you uh, three drinks that are in the same family and uh, they're all made exactly the same, you just add ingredients to get them to the next level, to the next cocktail. Uh, the first one's a Black Russian. Um, the Black Russian was uh, created, well there's a lot of stories to it, but the story I like is was that it was created by a, uh, a bartender in Brussels uh, 